First, I would like to apologize to you guys for not having products available on organ supplements. I will have some temporary replacements on Frankie's free range meat as frozen alternatives to our normal capsule powder products. And I really didn't want to make a video about this, but as with all of these other ridiculous problems I've had over the past two years, from my Kickstarter getting taken down, the fitness company scamming me for $7,000, that clown contractor from last week. The other week, some degenerate sent me $300 worth of samples. $300 of powdered bullshit, which in reality is $20 or $30. And this greedy motherfucker didn't want to give me my money back after I didn't want to do business with him. And I mean, give me my money back because he did not charge me a proper amount for the samples he sent me. I said, listen, I'll send you back your $300 bag of bullshit. And they said, the samples are non-refundable. So I said, hey, all right, I'll let my friends know about your great customer service. You know what else? I have a stupid goddamn pig on my logo instead of a cow that I have to look at every day because these incompetent pricks can't check their emails or answer their phones. That degenerate is John over at Capsule Supplies. Definitely say hello to him for me. And I strongly suggest you don't do business with him or Sean at Gridiron Nutrition as he was supposed to have a fresh batch of supplements for you guys by now. I'll tell you guys about the experience in dealing with them in detail and you can decide afterwards whether or not you want to give them a call, help Frankie boy out. Tell them to suck my long fucking dick. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. I've been dealing with this nonsense for eight months. As with the interaction with that nut job contractor last week, I am dealing with unreasonable people. Every single corner I turn, it's like everyone wants to rip me off. Am I a magnet for bad business? Or is everyone that's able to run a business now a scam artist in some capacity? You know, that's probably how they got there in the first place. Many of you have ordered off my company Organ Supplements where we sell organ powders and vitamins. And if you guys have placed an order in the past week or two, just reach out to me because we're going to do a liquidation sale because of this stupid pig on my logo. And regardless of whether I get new supplements or not, I have to get rid of this stuff now. So I'm going to sell it at what I paid for and actually losing some money because I have to account for the shipping. But you guys have been bombarding me with emails. When are things going to get back in stock? And, and they were supposed to be here already. Uh, so, so this started back in October of last year. I was looking for beef powders to sell to you guys because so many of you were asking me about it. And I finally found the source of them. So I reached out to the company that processed the raw materials for a quote. And that company didn't want to sell to me directly because my volume wasn't high enough. Uh, so they referred me to an importer. And that importer was John from Capsule Supplies. And I didn't really like dealing with them from the start because of their tone of voice, their interaction, you know, how they you know, were acting across the board, but I didn't have any other options at that point. So John had the beef powders and he referred me to Sean at Gridiron Nutrition to have the actual supplements bottled and all. That means is he puts the powders in gelatin capsules, puts them in a plastic bottle, slaps a label on it. Seems pretty simple, right? But, you know, we went back and forth for a bit, agreed on a few formulas, and the initial amount for all my products cost me $30,000. And $30,000 at the time was pretty much my life savings as I've never made a lot of money or worked a really good job. But to these guys, it was a rather small order. Uh, Sean had promised that I would get the supplements by the beginning of January. And considering I had paid for and ordered the supplements in early November, you know, that was more than a reasonable production period. It was actually longer uh, than most supplement companies take, but they ended up being delayed until mid-March, over two months after I initially promised. That's two months of me not selling products, not making revenue. And Sean kept blaming the label company, Turner Labels, that he couldn't get them. I called him several times a week several emails and towards the end several times per day said hey listen i'll pay more 
for a different label company, let me know, let me know. Sean ignored the majority of my calls and would respond on average every two weeks. And guys, I was beyond understanding. You know, every time I was like, listen, just let me know what's going on, let's communicate. I understand delays happen. He kept dodging my phone calls, not responding to my emails. This guy was not honest enough to even pick up the phone and tell me what was going on. He had $30,000 of my money compromising my business revenue, my potential customer base. I could have used the money for other things. And these two months, I was so stressed out of my mind every day. When am I going to get these? When am I going to get these? So I could start making my money back. You know, I was all about to scream on the phone at the stupid guy by the end of it. I was so aggravated. And then when I got the supplements, they had a pig logo instead of a cow, which I didn't care about at the time. I was like, finally, let's just sell that. But now that's part of the reason I have to liquidate all the products. And, and the, the vitamins didn't even have the same logo. They said Frank's Meats instead of organ supplements. And I had a difficult time getting the stuff on Amazon. Just the labels being incorrect could have put a normal company out of business. And the fact that I couldn't list them on Amazon was even worse. You know, it, it's just completely unacceptable customer service from every end. And at no point did they try to remedy or apologize for any of their errors. Thankfully, enough of the products sold that I could afford another run of supplements. And the reason I had to do that is because, you know, I'm only offering five products. If I get six, seven, eight more products, I'll get a lot more revenue. People will want more stuff. Plus, I can get him to make me new labels so I can relabel this and get more revenue on Amazon. So I reached out to Sean again in April and you guys might be wondering, you know, Frank, why would you do business with this guy if the first experience was a complete nightmare, so delayed and stressful? It's because it would be near impossible at this point to find another supplement manufacturer and start from scratch, especially with what was going on in the world. And I figured, hey, you know, worst case scenario, it's a three month delay again and it'll be fine. Uh, plus, Sean was willing to do lower quantities of supplements, unlike other companies. Uh, so the next experience is what led me to making this video. You know, there was a month or so of emails going back and forth, me trying to get the first order solidified, and mainly because John from Capsule Supplies wasn't clear on what beef powders he was able to access as I was requesting stuff that he didn't have in stock. And they basically wanted me to pay up front for the next run before they moved forward with anything. And apparently that included answering my emails. Normally these supplement manufacturers will ask for a deposit. These guys wanted the full amount. Since the beef supplements were so unclear, I agreed with Sean on what vitamins I wanted to do. And that was about $10,000 up front. Uh, so I sent them the money and then I went to figure out the rest of the order with John. And that was again delayed because for some reason, John didn't want to send me samples of the new powders I was using. You know, I'm assuming he didn't have them on hand as I would imagine if you had a customer that was going to spend nearly six figures on supplements, you would be able to send them $30 worth of powders. Like, is that not a reasonable accommodation? It's ridiculous. After about three weeks, John finally sends me these samples after charging me 500 bucks. You know, when he refunded me my money, he sent me back $200 of that. So I ended up paying 300, but initially he charged me 500 just for samples. How much money is this guy making that he can't be bothered to send me samples without charging me $500. Then I was going back and forth with Sean on the vitamin formulas and, and he said, they would be completed three weeks from payment. Fast forward a month, both John and Sean had been ignoring my emails and phone calls for that month, despite having $10,000 of my money, and they wanted me to pay for the new beef powders before starting anything. I guess these guys need to, to pad their bank accounts completely before they can do any, I, I really don't understand. You know, I, I don't know what's going on in their heads. And these guys led me on until the middle of June that they were going to make my products. Now it's the end of July. I don't have new products. My sales have tanked and I'm stuck at square one trying to find a supplement manufacturer. Do I deserve this kind of treatment? Every single step along the way from the delays to the improper labels, as I said, could have put any normal operation out of business. 
but this was the last straw. I wasn't even going to talk about this on my channel, but this greedy motherfucker wouldn't give me my $300 back for this bag of bullshit powder. And is $300 a lot of money? Absolutely. It's an incredible amount of money. Am I going to stress myself out over this $300? I mean, it's more about the principle. How can, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, so we're going to have a liquidation sale on organ supplements for now because I really don't know what's going to happen, uh, especially with the fall and, and the second wave of Toyota Corolla nonsense happening. I don't know if I should necessarily buy these supplements at this point, but if he had made them as he promised, you know, I would have had them two, three weeks ago, and I would have had some sales before the fall, before anything hypothetically happened. Just to repeat myself, if you guys did place an order on organ supplements within the past week or two, just shoot me an email and uh, I'll credit you the difference with the new pricing. But even before this, we were already selling a higher quality product more affordably than all of these other powder companies. It's just w with the labeling, with the poor marketing, you know, without the connections, uh, it it's been difficult to do the same thing as these other people. You know, my goal has always been to make things affordable, but uh, it's proving difficult. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, let me know, really let me know if you guys want me to move forward and try to get the other organ powders that I was originally going to do, like pituitary, pineal, pancreas, thyroid, thymus, all the glands, you name it. That was my original plan on what I was going to get. Uh, so uh, all that stuff is down in the description below, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Thank you.